Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers The Widowmakers. We are camping right outside of Grunfelde and there's one, well there's two contracts here and I think I'm going to take on this one first, though I don't think I'm going to take the second one on just yet. Uh, this one is going to send us to Ashenhead Hideout. Let's go ahead and I almost want to fight this without a contract because I'm wondering if there's something in there. And we haven't really, we've never been, I mean, we've, we've attempted to fight it. I don't think we've, we've actually gone in and fought it. Um, but we've come over here with the attentions to fight it and one reason or another just left it behind but I think we're ready to just take it on the reason I'm kind of thinking of taking it instead without this contract is because the contract's not paying too much and so I think it might reset whatever is in that location if there is anything in that location but honestly I guess it is a little too close for a good chance to have anything yeah I've been kind of going back and forth as you can tell I'm not sure if I want to take the contract or just run over and deal with it myself I was kind of thinking of just like go take care of it myself and then run over to Ulenfeste and instead of taking the contract you know just just do it on my way over here and there might be a leader if I don't take the contract, and maybe there's a leader if I do take the contract. I'm not sure. But, I mean, it would be pretty nice. Uh, a good amount of money. It would probably cover a couple days of, con of uh, payout. So, yeah, let's do it. The other one here is intercepting southern raiding parties around Gunfelde, which is where we are. But man, sometimes those raiding parties bring in like like 15 conscripts and they just destroy. And then of course there's the gunners and I'm not sure. I mean, I know this is uh, technically the, the one that we chose go for the noble war, but um, I'm wondering if maybe we should go on the side of the southern because they are pretty powerful but we are the northerners so instead of being too gamey what we're going to do is we'll definitely fight the southerners but let's let's just take this well it's a good amount of money before we head over there we do need some money uh some food that should be enough and after this contract I mean, I could sell this stuff off now. That's a pretty decent price. But I was kind of thinking that I could fetch a better price here at uh, Ulenfeste. So I think I might wait for that. And yeah, instead of selling in Grunfelde. So let's, let's head up here. We're looking at... Okay, so there's still a leader. One marksman and some raiders. So this one should be... Uh, not too difficult. Just one marksman. We are going to want to deal with that marksman pretty quickly. So I think what I'm going to do here is... Trade out Livewin for Kale. So that I might be able to... Have more of a... Um, range superiority and that means they'll run to us but then Kale can also be taking some some shots there all right we also have that falcon and Gurlock has the dog something i need to remember there so yeah i think that's good let's do it Thank you. 
but we don't need the falcon because we're pretty high up anyway there's the leader alfred the brigand pretty generic name and uh, okay the marksman actually just has a longbow so it's not too painful i was a bit worried if it was going to be a um uh, a crossbow that such as Valdemar's carrying. Let's run up here. And maybe take a shot. Really? Yeah, I think that's a good space. Actually, we can just hop right back. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think if I had a wall, I would sit there too. Uh, looks... Okay, actually, Zahiri with Pathfinder can jump down and jump back up again. That looks like a good place for him. Because I need somebody to be a bit aggressive here. It looks like it could be you. Rizzo looks like another good opportunity to to jump in there. I think I need to bring Volker somewhere over here. That looks like a good space. Not yet, but we'll... Oh, really? What? I did not think that was going to be a good chance. That's a good hit. We can jump up. That's good space for you. All right. Decent attempts. Again. You have got to be kidding me. Who did we just lose? Frizzo. Man. Huh. I do not appreciate that. Yeah, run into there. Uh, let's not be too hasty here. I'm gonna wait. I want to see what happens. I'm I'm just absolutely disappointed in that. Finally, and he is just hitting everything. Okay, good. We've finally landed a hit there. Let's go for this guy's head. Good work. Uh, yeah, just end your turn, I guess. Man, I am, I am just devastated here. Hit him, please. Thank you. Wait, that was, I kind of, uh, I kind of liked him. Kind of liked Frizzo. Wait there, Kali. Need to get a bit more surround here. And...
He's getting tired, so that's good. Let's end your turn. Miss. Yep. I'm surprised this guy wants to stick around here. Hmm. Uh, just, just end your turn. Well, we got one of them. Let's split this. Good hit back there. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's actually switch and let's try to remove that. Yeah, I didn't think so, but it was worth a shot. This guy. Uh, just forget it. 39%. Finally. And Frizzo is dead, my friends. Uh, you know, that is, that's pretty bad. That's pretty sucky. This is not a good time to be losing brothers. Um, but... We do have backups for, for this kind of reason. Uh, Deed Helm, Geralt with level ups. Frizzo was, I believe he was a... Uh, not retired. A deserter? Is that what he was? He was either a deserter or retired. But he had some pretty good melee defense. And the fact that we lost them is kind of a low blow at this point. Uh, well, we did pick up the kettle hat, so that's something. Got back the, the helmet, a heater shield, military cleaver. So we did, we'll, we'll make some money off of our, our attack here, but man. That is, that's a bit frustrating. So, yeah, we don't have ambush trade routes here anymore, which is a good thing for them. Oh. But it's not necessarily a good thing for selling off our, um, our goods. Because the prices went down a little bit. Ooh, okay. Well, let's take a look at our line now. With Frizzo gone, I don't really have a front liner to, um jump up we have Dietmar the conscript Geralt the bastard who has executioner student and recover he, yeah I don't think he really has the stamina to jump up there with a shield let's let's just put a shield in his hands yeah we'd have to give him like a sword or something like that. So, I mean, I guess he could go up there, but he's not. 11. 11 fatigue for this. 5 fatigue for that. What about Espen? Espen wouldn't necessarily have a shield. That's, that's one issue there. Um, oh man, and he was our stunner too. That's right. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Who else could we use as a stunner? Definitely not you. You know, Volker... Volker could be it. Volker could take that space. Pick up the... Um, pick up the winged mace... And he's still pretty good. But now we need somebody here still. I mean, that's... We, we still really do need to bring somebody forward. 
Uh, both of them have 10 defense, melee defense in general, or for starting. But neither of them really have a good amount of... Yeah, 95... Oops, where are you? 95 and 101. I mean, we could send Sigmar just up here, right? We could do something like this, just close this gap. Where'd it go? There it is. So, yeah, we could do something like this. Just close the gap and send Sigmar up. Sigmar is not necessarily a good person to have on the front line with such low melee defense. Um, but we have some... Hmm. I mean, having Volker standing next to him might be helpful because then he could stun them. Stun the, the adjacent, one of the adjacent enemies. And, uh, yeah. What about this? 250 at 17. We well, could give that to you. Yep. This is a tough one. I am, I'm a little, uh... Alright, we could do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little shocked here still, so... <laughs> Give me a moment. I do have this heater shield as well. That might be... Hmm. That could help Sigmar out, but I don't really think I need to help him out that much. What would be another... I could do this for Gerlach. really help him out, boost him up a couple more. I guess that's only two, isn't it? I mean, these heater shields, since the uh, like the sipper shield edition has just been has been great, you know? The heater shield has been something that I love to use in the past, but the sipper shield is just it's pretty sweet, right? Alright, Deet Helm leveled up. We have a plus two, a plus three, and a four. Let's take all of those as we can. And now we should give him underdog because he is on the on the corner there. Yeah, let's go for underdog. We'll make sure that Deet Helm does stay on the corner. Who else? Geralt with a plus four. Great. And nothing for fatigue. Well, I can give him the plus three and maybe we put him on as kind of a as a, a rare backup for the front line. But he just doesn't really have the fatigue to uh, to jump forward very often, does he? So I think what I'm going to do is give him this. And really make sure that he stays on the back line. And I'll give him... Ah, what the heck. We'll go for full-on defense and melee skill. But I think Polar Mastery might be where he's going to be succeeding the most. I could give him Backstabber as well. Uh, and since he's, you know, between here, he'd have two, he'd always have two around a target. Uh, and it would be nice if I could get three around, surrounding a target, because then we could get more bonuses from the, the uh, Backstabber, but... I mean, I said before, I, I'd like to get some Polar Masteries, and I think Geralt is 
probably going to be someone that's going to be on the back line forever. I don't see him going to the front line because of his lower fatigue. And at this point, um, he's not going on the front line. So I think, uh, man, yeah. We're going to go with Polar Mastery. And let's check this out. Greenskins. Kill marauding greenskins around Goldstein. Goldstein's way down here. You know, I'd love to maybe do that, but I don't want to run back up here. So I'm going to Yulinfeste. I'm going to skip out on that. So we we need to hire somebody, and it has to be a frontliner, and it has to be somebody that's good immediately. Like you, Elmar the Wolf. Yeah, well, I can't. I just can't. Let's see about selling off some of that stuff. Okay, no, the prices here are really pretty decent, actually. So I'll take it. Let's get rid of all this. And I, I don't see a need to carry all of this. I'm going to keep this and this. But I think that's gone. Now, nah, you know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it for now. We do have another dagger. Actually, I did not see that. And I think I'm going to give it to Espen first. We don't want this anymore now that we have this military cleaver, but I don't know who could even really hold on to that at this point either. Is there somebody? Sigmar might be able to hold on to it, but it's pretty heavy. Yeah, let's... Let's keep this as is. We will uh, we'll work to fix that one up. I don't need all of these. I don't need another one of those. And all this for backup is good to keep. Now, I know I just looked over here, but I, since I do have some... It looks like I might be able to give... Some upgrades here, and that might be a good thing. Looks like just you, Sigmar, so we'll give that to you. We do have this one as well. That's eight, that's seven. Yeah, so this is actually bad at this point. I think that's good. Live one, we need to protect you a little bit more. And good, 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 good. All right, we will keep this. I will keep, we'll keep them both. Yeah, we'll keep it for now. Uh, tools and supplies look like a good purchase here. We'll get one stack and another stack of food potentially. Be expensive though. Man, 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 I am just blown away. So Kunold, Kunold the Militia might be somebody that we want to take, or at least check out because he's so cheap. Uh, my other thought here is we're passing through Ownberg, and Ownberg tended to have some good gear and good potential hires there, but I mean a Militia at this point, yeah, I don't know about that. Some beautiful stuff in there, but... Really need to find someone to hire. Okay, let's get out of here. There wasn't a contract, right? Nope. Okay.
Let's go to Dunkelvok just to see what's available there. And before it, I want to make sure that some of these caravans, because if, if they're coming from the south, then we should be attacking them now. Uh, that will make them angry at us, but it will also give us some money and... And if we can actually take them on, because I know they take conscripts with them. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, we should be attacking them at this point of the game. We're not really going to be too friendly with them anymore, so why not? Why not benefit financially? Yeah, nothing here. All right. Onward. Well, they're coming from the north, so it won't be that. Here we go. Cell sword, couple cell swords. This one not so much because it's coming in with a a, um, a crossbow. Another bastard. They can be. Pretty reckless though. Their their defenses. I was taking a look at some of their stats, and uh, they could be really good, and they could be really bad. So, but Torsten, uh, Torsten. My fear with this is that he's gonna have like stars. He's gonna be really good at being a uh, maybe even a hybrid, but that's not really what I'm looking for. And Rollo the Blade. Coming in with an axe. But he'd he'd be a good one for sure. Let's see what this what this is. Rumult. So I guess that's what this one the stag is. Is that right? Yep. Hmm. Is it worth to even try him, though? That's the next question. Torsten, since he's a sellsword, is there, like, a, a chance that he's better? Like, I, I don't know how sellswords actually work. So let's, let's hire him. Let's see what, what comes from this. It's a, it's a good time to learn, right? Okay, so... Still pretty decent, right? Not really. Not really. Fatigue is really low. Man. Range def I mean, he's coming in with some good defense. But the stars and resolve are just... Straight up worthless at this point. Uh, hit points... Take it or leave it. The melee skill is a decent start with one star. 13 melee defense. I mean, I'm gonna keep him. But what does that mean for everybody else? Because I can't just, you know, get another guy on the back line, right? That could mean this. Could mean this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Uh, let's see how he levels up. Gross. Okay, a plus four in fatigue. That's a good start. And I'll take the hit points. Actually, a plus five in resolve might be a good place to start. Um. Yeah, let's go for the resolve in this case. Alright, another four. Fatigue, please. Hey! Okay, actually, plus three, plus three, plus four. That'll do it. Uh, we'll still give him student. Or should I? 
I mean, I can give him two right now, and I would think gifted might be something I have to go for. Um, I could go for Colossus because eventually he will be above 60, which is kind of my threshold where I, I like to take Colossus. No, I think I'm going to pass on Colossus. Let's give him Student and Gifted. So that way I can really snuff him up onto some higher levels here and make sure that he can eventually uh, take some heavier gear. And he's already at 19 melee defense, which is better than Sigmar with a shield. And he's at 24. So I think this is what we're going to do. I mean, I can give him some better gear, and I think I will. Maybe Deepmar or... Yeah, maybe Deepmar can switch. I mean, it's not that big of an upgrade. And what is going on here with Kali? I've just never given him some some better armor, I guess. It's not that much better, I guess, but... Um, let's try this out. This is going to be a higher hit chance because... Uh, let's see here. Ignores the bonus due to melee defense... Or, Ignores the bonus to melee defense granted by shields. So this one might be a better one for him since he has... I mean, 70 is not bad. Don't get me wrong. But I'd like for him to be hitting more frequently at this time. And this thing has a 30% chance to stun on a hit. So every three swings or so that connects, there's a chance to... Uh, a good chance to stun. So I'll take that. Um, I don't... Having Volker stand next to him to potentially stun them anyway. And then Torsten can swing again. I do need to get him some heavier armor. And maybe I do this. I don't like that at all. I was just thinking that it's lighter, but... It's lighter and better. But is Torsten really somebody that we need to... to keep over Volker? I don't know. I don't know. And Frizzo, I mean, if I lost Sigmar, uh, I'm glad I didn't lose Zahiri, but if I lost Sigmar, I'd be like, meh, that's fine. If I lost Volker, I'd, I'd be a little bit sad about that one too. Uh, Igor, you know, we gotta keep you around. I guess that's about it. Sigmar would have been the better one to leave. Um, alright, alright. Let's test it out, I guess. Torsten? Oops. Let's, uh, let's hope that you can stay alive. Maybe there's... Yeah, I, I don't think he can wear that, but... But I think at this point... Now I'm seeing that that is just not going to happen. So let's sell that off. And uh, they do have an armorer. And we could get this. A male hulbrick. But I think that 1423, I think that was the same thing here. Yeah, the male hulbrick. Just with, it comes with the Talbert. Um... Man, 
How much does that weigh? 18. That would be six more removed. And he doesn't need a lot of fatigue, actually, now that I think about it. Because he just needs to be able to move and then swing and swing and swing. And that's really all he needs to do. So I think I'll do it. Let's perk, let's get this. Oh yeah. And he doesn't need a lot of fatigue. This is, uh, this is something that I need to get into my head that People talk about these zero stamina builds or zero fatigue builds that um, you don't need a lot of fatigue. All they need to do is move and swing. And then since you get 15 fatigue at the end of your, at the end of the round anyway, that um, that's okay. Like you, you swing and you get it back immediately. Swing and you get it back immediately. So the only thing that you really have to wear uh, watch out for is moving and if you give him pathfinder then you don't really need to worry too much about that um you'll be able to move basically twice as much but if we give him like recover path if we give him pathfinder maybe we don't even need to give him recover but that might be something we do anyway yeah let's let's see this let's see this through I'm feeling more and more okay with it. Nothing else to do here. Well, that's too bad. Let's head down to Goldstein because we need some food and they love us. They do have the marauding greenskins down here. Some way to the north. Probably not. And of course they have some negative things here. But we do need food anyway. Oh god. And then what terrorizes Goldstein. It looks like it wouldn't be... Uh, web necks because there's no there's no forests so I'm guessing it's probably Noxers because of the location if it was further north maybe direwolves I don't know if that's the way you should think about that but let's um let's take it three skull contract why not let's let's get a little more reckless here Everybody's fixed up. No, they are not. So let's uh, let's camp a little bit. Okay. Well, their tracks are going this way. I was really worried about being ambushed in the night, but looks like we're fine now. Twenty-seven. Oh man. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Lathora. All of them are tier one. That is crazy. I've never seen this before. 27 Noxers. Uh, actually, I think you don't put an S on it. I think it's just 27 Noxer. But, um, and none of them are, are tier two or three. That is, that's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Uh, I think, I think we definitely have this, but we could be swarmed. But, um, Espen and Dietmar and Geralt all have, well, I think Espen doesn't have it. Let's see here. 
Yeah, he doesn't have mace mastery, but I'm. I think Deepmar has hammer mastery, and I know Geralt now has uh, full arm mastery, so they can actually attack adjacent. Uh, let's just wait. End your turns, guys. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. We do have twelve. I thought because of this empty space that we didn't, but uh, let's. Maybe I should have grabbed these two guys and folded in. But I know Espen will be able to go first. Oh, will he? Oh, no. Let's do that. And I think I'm going to actually just switch to the whip. Since they don't have any armor at all. Hmm. This gap doesn't, whoops, doesn't worry me too much, but... I do feel like I need to kind of push someone in there. Zahiri's already done. So let's wait. Yeah, I guess not. I wonder if does Igor have underdog? That'd be really good if he did. I think he does, because both were 26%. That's not good. But I think they've all gone, so they won't be able to squeeze in here. I think. Yeah, they can't because they're all double up here. Um... We want to... Let me think about this. We want... We don't need to worry about this space at this moment. But if we kill here, then one might be able to jump. Well, one won't be able to jump in. So let's go for it. Good hit. Wait. Ah, uh, wait. Turn done, turn done. 13. Really need to be careful here. Let's go for this shot. Okay. And I might actually just switch to the Cruel Falchion and just move up and start swinging. Uh, Valdemar, wait. Let's wait. I want to see what what's going to happen here. Bravely wounded. Wait then. Wait. Welcome, Torsten. Uh, we need to... You're going to act in a turn. Let's wait. Is that... Oh, it didn't. Okay. Okay, we've killed this one. Oh. Okay. The problem now here is we need to we need to demoralize them fast. You jerk. There we go. This is good. Uh, this side is actually really strong, so I think you're going to act in... I'm going to wait. I want to see where they go. Interesting. That's a problem. 
Uh, end your turn. Zahiri, let's move up. Move up. Geralt, I'm kind of okay with you moving up. Oh, and then we can move. Here we go. Or uh, we can attack. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, let's get a bit aggressive here. You think? Let's go here. Yeah, you can't move. Now they're already running. That's good. They'll probably return. Good. I was gonna say there's probably someone in that bush. I was I was about to put Deepmire in a bad position, but. There's a couple bad thing, bad chances here. Okay, good. Okay. Axe in one turn. We need you dead. Uh, stun. Oh, that's bad. We need to continue demoralizing them. Good. Good hit. No! Okay, move up and stun, I hope? Nope. Your turn's done. Too close. Okay. Uh, wait. Nice. That was, that was really good, actually. Uh, let's... Let's move out of the way. And wait. Yeah, just move up and wait. Good. Good, 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 good. Good stacking bleed. There's four stacks of bleed there. And there they go. Wonderful. And he's done too. Okay, they are coming back too. I'm okay with that. Let's jump up here. End. And they're sticking around. That's that's fine. Okay, we got another chance here. Stun. Good. I mean, we're probably... You're probably dead anyway, but at least this way we don't have to worry too much about you. Uh, let's... Wait. Wait. Oh, and we got the stun too. Fantastic. So that's gonna die anyway. That one's running. And that one bled out too. Good. Alright. You'll be fine there.
Uh, let's wait. I want to see them run first. Yeah. Oh, you missed him. Let's run them down as much as we can. The ones that are running, they'll they'll get away, but Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Think we can make it. Yep. Yes, we can. bit of extra help there. Can't make it. That's too bad. Oh, but you can. And good. Nice. Those two are gone now, so we're, we're fine. So not too bad. I think only two actually grew up. But as you can see, I mean, it's the morale that you just really need to focus on. Um, if you can kill them quickly, then they will turn and flee uh, just this fast. But 27 tier 1, that's that's still, that's still pretty uh, interesting. A whole bunch of stuff. We'll be able to make some necklaces out of this. The brains, I think, are... Eh. Volker and Livewin with level up. That's good stuff. Actually, I want to see here. Igor with eight kills. Igor. <laughs> wow. Yeah, good work. All right. Back to Goldstein. So that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. What was the other? Oh, the other one was like, go search for something. Um, oh, they do have a taxidermist here, so we can grab a couple of those. Noxer trophy necklaces are going to give some of our guys a bit more uh, resolve. Now, who needs the resolve? Probably Zahiri could use one. It's, uh, it's plus four. Yeah, plus four resolve. And Sigmar? I guess. Sigmar can have one. Now let's maybe sell... Yeah, they have some really good prices here, so... We'll sell all that junk off. I don't really need this. I... I I don't know if I was holding on for some reason, but I think, yeah, we already have a bowman. We don't need another. And actually, I've had these bandages. I'm kind of surprised nobody has said anything about the bandages. They've been there the entire game. I don't think I've ever actually given them to anyone. Um, and I know I have these strange mushrooms, and I'll still probably never use them, so... A uh, live one with a level up. Okay, well, we'll definitely go for the resolve. I'll take the four range defense. And I will give you extra uh, fatigue. And I think... I mean... Giving you polar mastery. Then we'd have two guys on the back line with polar mastery. That's pretty good. That's that's a decent uh, a decent start. So 
I could also give you Gifted to kind of boost you up a little bit more. But let's go for Polar Mastery first. And Volker. Is that it? Just those two? Yep. Great. Plus three. I mean, well, we'll always see plus three. Plus four, and... Maybe we'll take the plus two in defense. Yes. Okay. Now, in your case, do we want to keep you as the stunner? And I'm going to say no. Not yet. Um... I don't want to choose something for him yet. But I think what I'll do is give him... I was going to say Backstabber. Yeah, I only have one guy on the front line with Backstabber. Let's, let's give that to you. That's going to give you a good boost. You're going to be between guys anyway, so you might as well just have that. It's unfortunate that Deet Helm here, I've given him Backstabber and then I've actually put him on the, the side there, but that's fine. He's going to at least be next to somebody, so he'll have a... Um, he'll have somebody that can can help him out with that. The problem is that when, as you can see, they, they tend to... The enemies tend to kind of flank around and choose him solely, like coming in on uh, standing right here. So... Then he won't get backstabber, but it's only going to be against that one guy. We can bring Espen in the proud uh, to help out with stuff like that. And actually what I could do is put Espen right on the corner. So that if, if that does happen, we can hit and then move up. I'd, I'd like to be more aggressive with Espen, honestly. You know... We could do something like this instead, but I really like having that um, that option of uh, the pole mace. What if I did this? I know, that's a lot of sounds there. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with that. And maybe, just maybe, I could give him the arming sword. And if, if I want him to be more aggressive, I can step up. Yeah, let's go for that. He already has Nimble. He has Dodge. He has Relentless. He has Backstabber. Underdog. So let's, let's give Espen the Proud a, a secondary weapon. So that if, he, if I can step up, then I will. To be a bit more helpful. Although the pole mace is really nice. But um, being able to attack twice with a sword. Can be pretty helpful. Alright. I think we are. Good to continue. Now. I, I think. We'll, let's head around to Mirvik. And let's look for some southerners roaming around. Maybe we'll we'll start targeting them. So at least choose a side. Who are you? Well, you know we're going for this. And there's something coming from here too, so we'll see what that is. They all have the same exact armor on. Okay. And then one archer. Are they coming to us? Let's wait and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, we need to take that, right? So I think we'll all step up one. So I think Zahiri's gonna jump 
right here. He'll be able to do that because he has um, Pathfinder. So I think I'll put Voldemar up there. Nice. The one guy, man. Uh, there we go. Pretty good there. Oh, okay, I was I was a bit worried about that, but And that, okay, I'm loving it. I'm loving this. <laughs> I have no idea what the chances of hitting are, but... I'm just not worried about getting hit by that anyway. <laughs> Let's move. Oh, right. You. Don't, I don't know what I was thinking there, um, but obviously it's it's okay now. go. Come on, buddy. Oh. I'm loving it. I'm loving this flail. I don't think I've ever used the uh, two-handed flail. Uh, maybe I used it once, but the sound that it makes is just like the two-handed mace, and it's it's wonderful. Okay. One level up for Espen the Proud. Thorsten, I'm, I'm loving this. It, you're, you're doing good. Welcome. We'll take all that. Now let's see what... I think we're kind of good. Hmm. Nimble underdog, relentless dodge backstabber student. What next? Fearsome? No. Duelist? Mm. If I end up dropping this completely, then duelist probably is going to be the way to go, but I'm not sure about that yet. Killing Frenzy, I don't think so, because that would ruin his initiative pretty quick, too. Headhunter, with this, could be really nice. Oh no, sorry. Berserk was what I was thinking of. Although the, the four action points is really nice, don't get me wrong. My What I'm talking about is, if you get to attack twice, and you're burning 15 fatigue and then another 15 fatigue, you're not you're taking back 15 fatigue at the end of the turn so although it would probably help more toward the end once the uh their front line or once they're like our enemies have some reduced health then berserk will be a little bit more but what i'm trying to say is the more he attacks the more fatigue he uses the more initiative he loses which then again uh reduces his dodge now, I'm not being very aggressive with him, so it might be a good option. Uh, Overwhelm might be a good thing as well, because he's going to be going early anyway. But, with just the pull mace, I'm not sure. Reach advantage. Now we could go with Gifted to, again, like shore up some of the things that we're, we're not too happy with. 
Um, like melee defense would be a good one to to get another plus three in, but I just I don't know. We could go with Colossus. Let's go with Colossus. There we go. He's at 97 hit points now. I think that's a pretty good place for him. Colossus plus Nimble is a pretty good combination that I don't necessarily take advantage of too often. So let's 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 do that here. Okay, that's nothing. Local holiday. And they want me to find something else to, to the west. To the west? Yeah. The problem with that is I'd have to go down here or cross up here and find a way. So that's just, that's just not happening. Uh, on second thought, no. And look at this, actually. Herbalist Grove, Fishing Huts. Let's take a look here. Yeah. A few gunners, some conscripts. Many conscripts. Are we ready? Zahiri. All right. Let's do this. Everybody else is in good order. And uh, we're going to attack these guys. But let's wait. Okay. Engage. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That's not bad. Let's, uh, let's move over. Let's actually move up, right? Let's, let's see here. So there's this space over here and then this. And they're probably all going to be waiting and then they're all going to have to jump around here quick. So I think I'm going to move over here with... Oh, let's wait with Baltimore. Wait. Great. It's all looking good so far. It's looking fantastic. Okay, let's. We want to hold here with two pretty strong guys. Probably Deedhelm and Igor might want to hold this. Uh, Deedhelm might want to be here because we don't want him to be surrounded. And then we want a couple guys around here. So we want to hold this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can have somebody else down here. I think Zahiri is probably going to be here. Let's wait there. Uh, Libwin. I think I want to put Espen right there. Let's move Libwin up at least. Wait. Um, wait, because I think I want to bring. Yeah, let's do this first. There we go. Deed helm. Wait there. Volker here.
I almost want to put him here instead, actually. And then bring Torsten maybe around here. Let's put you here for now, Gerlach. And I have the dog. I need to remember that. Um... Let's just back up one and then re go right there. That's a bush. Okay. Uh, end your turn here. Kind of want to step down here, but I know that this is going to be a dangerous space is here because uh, they could put them up here. But that's still pretty low chances. Uh, Livewin, let's do something like this just for now. Uh, end your turn. End your turn. Yeah, actually you step up into here. And you stand there, and I might be able to kind of squeeze around here to, to push back and... Wait. Good. Okay. Let's make a little bit of space. It looks like they don't really know what to do. That's good. And if somebody steps here, that would be great, but I I think they're going to be smarter than that. Um, and I won't actually be able to hit from here, so... I think Sigmar needs to move, so let's wait. Wait there. And if I split, then I have some chances of hitting there, that's a good thing. And I missed. That's fine. Um, wait. This is dangerous for that. So I kind of... I kind of want to move and maybe bring bring Torstein around here, so I think I'll do that. Good, okay. Uh, let's now just... Yeah. Right there. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so I, I'm a little too far from them now, but at least this way I can bring Geralt up. Ah, I really needed that. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here. So that guy's way down there. I think it's still safe to move up. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight. Let's really hit this guy hard. That's pretty hard. Good work. And it's end your turn. Oh, really? Yeah, let's go for that hit. Good, good work, man. Uh, wait. Ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, okay. 
I've got, uh, these guys are done now. Three turns, let's go for this shot. Nice, no more armor for you. And I'm thinking we want to do this. Oh, really? That was cool. Uh, wait. Pretty low chances for that, probably. Cool. Uh, let's wait. I want to see what happens. Hmm. I really I need to be able to get down there. Let's wait. I was hoping, but let's just go straight for this good hit, man. And will it be a good idea to switch with somebody who has not gone yet? I could switch with Geralt, actually. Let's do that. Because Geralt can then attack. Um, let's see here. We do have the dog, we have Taunt. I mean, throwing the dog down here could be helpful. And then shield wall. Just... Don't really care too much about the dog, apparently. <laughs> Just wanted one hit there. End your turn. Jump down there now. Yeah, good. Not good. There we go. Okay. One. Let's try and hurt you again. We're, we're chipping away. Move down a little bit. Ow. Okay. I think I'm going to send Deet Helm into here. So if that's the case... And then I'll probably send Espen to, to this space so that they can start hammering on to them. Let's, um... I think where we are right now is okay. So let's wait. You also wait. I wanted to go for someone that was that had a turn coming up. Uh, wait. Yeah, I figured. Wait. Go for the guy that might die. It's a, it's a decent hit. Deepmar, finally. Somebody to go in. They're not going for the dog. That's that's pretty, pretty nice of them, I think. Really? Okay. Um, come on, wait. Dive back into here again. And that's all you can do. Yeah, end your turn. Can't shield wall. <laughs> now, nope, still can't. 
Tahiri, okay. Uh, maybe we can just... Yeah, let's dive down here, actually. Oh, let's go for it. Okay. Okay. Do we need this? No. Wait there. There we go. That guy should be dead now. But let's... Let's actually go for a stun. Good. I'm surprised that dog is alive. Um... The only chances I, I have is by moving way over here. Oh, actually, there's a guy right there, isn't there? Yeah. Sweet! Start moving. Good. Good, good, good. Start running around them now. Wait. No, let's go for that head. Really? How many how many hit points do they have? Finally. Finally. There we go. Can he not... Oh, okay. That's fine. How is this dog alive? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, I see a problem here. Let's do it anyway. Get out of the way, buddy. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Eat Mar. Just actually, guys, just get out of the way. Here we go. <laughs> We're hitting. This is going to be a problem here. And he hit. I'd like I want to know the chances here. Okay, it's not that good, but Oh, you missed. There we go. A little a little bit of a struggle, but uh Gurlock and Geralt taking kind of the brunt of the damage with Espen and Deepmar. So it was mostly my back line that they were focusing on for good reason, really. For good reason cuz they're going to be hitting pretty hard as well. So uh Torstein with a level up and that Oh man. Sometimes I see these and I think, oh man, these are great, but they're not. Um, they're alright, but But that is going to do it for now. Uh I think what I'll do is well let's level up Torsten real quick. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 
And I'll go for the hit points. Yeah. What do we want for a perk? Well, I think we want... We could go for Pathfinder. We don't necessarily need to go for Brawny. Um, but, I mean, it might help, right? But Pathfinder is probably going to be the better thing for his kind of build. I don't want to take anything that that reduces, I mean, rotation or footwork to use in a defensive kind of way, but rotation to use in an offensive kind of way, we'd, we'd really have to be hitting, you know. Uh, Backstabber is going to be helpful. I think I'm going to go for Pathfinder so that I know his stamina is going to be okay. Although, no, let's take Pathfinder. Uh, Backstabber. Let's take Backstabber for now. Well, not for now, but let's take Backstabber now. And this way, and I think I'm going to keep him with this flail and just give him flail mastery. And But Pathfinder is definitely going to be on there. I could give him Brawny. That would help him a little bit, but I don't know if I want to waste or use a perk point for that. Let's, let's try something different, right? That would mean Battleforged is off the table if we don't take Brawny. Recover might be helpful. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll think about this. But th this is actually looking better and better. I'm not too disappointed anymore. But, um, man, we are a little beat up. A couple bruised legs. Yeah, I don't think we'll be jumping right into this one, unfortunately, but I would like to. And it looks like they've toned them down a little bit. Maybe it's because it's early on, day 84. Maybe because of that, that they're not like 15 or 12 to 15 of them immediately. It can be pretty devastating. But what we can do is hang around Mirvik. Maybe we'll head up to um, Owenberg. Hope, like, kind of. We need some tools and supplies. Do they have any? Are they coming for us? Oh, I think they're running away from us. Okay. Eh, they do. And the price isn't too bad. Actually, the Amber Shards... Why? What is happening here? Local holiday, terrifying nightmares, and raided. These poor guys. But uh, anyway, folks, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for stopping by and hope to see you next time.